Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how are parabolas and hyperbolas related. To quickly review what those two terms mean, here we have a parabola that is defined by the equation y equals x squared plus 1. Here we have our y-axis, and here we have our x-axis. The two blue curves are generated by this equation, x squared minus y squared equals 1. And while they're both curves, it might not appear that they are related in any interesting way. After all, this one is a function that is explicitly defined, and this is not a function. You can see it does not pass the vertical line test. So it might not appear that there is any real relation between them. But both of these types of curves are examples of what we like to call conic sections. If you were to draw a cone that is stacked on top of itself in a sense, that extends outwards towards infinity, both above and below. You can create a few different shapes by taking sections of the cone. If you imagine chopping the cone into two parts using a plane, the set of points that the plane intersects with the cone will create a conic section. So, for example, here, take this white plane that cuts directly across the cone, you'll get a conic section that's simply a circle. But more interesting conic sections can be taken by using planes that are not directly perpendicular to the cone. So for example, plane something like this might intersect the cone there. This will extend outwards towards infinity, giving us a parabola. And similarly, if we take a vertical plane and chop the cone like this, we'll get a conic section that's broken into two pieces. Here and here, again extending up and down towards infinity. And this will give the hyperbola that we had before once you rotate it. So to recap, parabolas and hyperbolas are related in the sense that they are both examples of conic sections. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how parabolas and hyperbolas are related. 